What's up, adventurers, and welcome to a brand new AFK Journey video. Today, we're going to be reacting to the Lily Mae trailer. Now, you may have watched this trailer. I've myself watched it once or twice now, but I thought I would do an in-depth review of how the trailer maybe has some differences to way, the way that she plays. Now that we have some, uh, some content creators who have put out some of the PTR content showing what the character's loadout looks like, let's talk about what the trailer is telling us and maybe kind of things that we can discern from it um, as far as story, lore, and then what we think overall with the character. So let's get it started. Let's go. So I'm honestly thinking that at first I thought she was saving the bird, like she's crying over the bird. Um, and I think still that's true. But at the same time, it's like... Are things I it, she, she, kill, she kills the bird, right? Like that's the idea, she kills the bird. So it's like crying over the bird, but like definitely you killed the bird. Mother said, on nights like this, Someone will fall asleep. I want to say as well, this whole scene right here is like the scene from a horror movie. Like it gives off horror movie vibes, like the like the zombie, like the zombies from La uh, Last of Us, just like melding with the nature around them, almost like a like a like a like a like a crazy dream, like a nightmarish dream, being sucked into it. And you can see like she's like slowly falling asleep. Someone And then just wakes up. Big eyes. Opposite heads. I mean, it's it's actually... <laughs> it's actually crazy. And the other thing is that she references is she says mother said in there. Like mother said this, mother said this. Who is mother in this case? That That's what I'm wondering. And we lost our carrier pigeon. Where is Lady Alusha? Lady Alusha reference to uh, the, the main, I guess the main villain. Um, that we wonder, is Alucia going to be a playable character? Maybe, possibly, or just another character that, uh, that's just kind of like an NPC sort of, uh, to kind of take the place of, I guess, Burial was, was, was the, the villain for a little while. Is this our carrier pigeon? It seems like someone's trying to stop us. <laughs> the alert! Check your surroundings! Technically, her kidding, killing the bird is bird on bird crime. I just want that to be... Made aware. It does. Don't turn around. An unknown. An illusion. This makes sense with her rogue, uh, her being a rogue, um, to me. But also, like, with this whole, like, this creepy voiceover with the, like, hiddenness and the roguish tactics, it screams Graveborn. I, I like like doesn't this doesn't this scream graveborn? An indistinct sound. Who's breathing? The smell is in the air. It's the smell of sweat and fear. It hurts. It should have ended like this. However, I don't feel anything. I mean, come on, guys. It should have ended like this. I don't feel anything. Literally does not care that she was shot by an arrow. Removes it. No, no facial reaction. Just yoink. <laughs> Just zero care. This is, this is, this is not wilder. <laughs> However, I don't feel anything. It's almost like a whimsical nature that is a child. It's like it's like I feel pain, I smell something. It's it's fear. I don't feel anything. It's like it's like the curiosity of a child with being unable to relate to any of it. Cuz she can't reference it herself. Ain't as gentle as falling asleep. 
I gotta know how numb you are to pain where you're like, oh yeah, pain is equal to that. Tonight. I like uh, the, the spinning looks cool and I could get it for like the, the posing and whatnot. Like I'm going to make thumbnails from like stuff like this. But when you got crossbows, <laughs> You gotta, like, I mean, if you got like a sword, sure, but the crossbows, I don't totally get. Also, like, rogue holding a marksman weapon using magic arrows, like. What's Aves Eleven? To me, the 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 if if we're gonna speculate a little bit, maybe this is just because I watched the Deadpool and Wolverine movie, but the cat is like Striker in the Weapon X program. Aves Eleven is like a designed weapon of a character, right? And so. She's sitting there counting on her fingers, by the way. I wanted that to be known. She's she's counting her kills. Are we are we registering that? Because she killed six guys. And she's counting to seven. Because if you include the bird, I guess. <laughs> Just y'all saying who that she's cute. I I don't know. Man, you guys, you guys, you guys can't fix her. I'm just telling you. It's time. Oh, it's a little bird grave. That's sweet. Play. It's time for you to play another lullaby, guys. Come on. Look at the face, the vacant stare. There's, there's nothing in that. Oh my gosh, this isn't waifu. This is like horror foo. I don't know. <laughs> another lullaby. Jeez. I will say the part that I am most confused about is probably the Twilight Tracker part because maybe like she's a uh, like you consider like a bounty hunter like she can find people or has a sense of tracking people but connecting it from her ability move set her ability move set seems to be sort of denial um and denials of ultimates I will say something that is confusing for me just comparing her move set to what this trailer shows while the animations do match up with what she's saying, I almost get more of like, like a shadow step invisibility rogue, like illusionary rogue, like, you know, causes fear, um, or can, can like, um, distract, but her moveset screams more of like, she can benefit from, um, from, bu from buffers. And that improves her abilities. But her, this trailer kind of shows her more being solo. Um, so having that team dynamic is a bit confusing. And then also she interrupts the first enemy ult, which makes sense. Um, and her she also has energy sapping abilities. So she's more of like a denial character, like basically denial of progress, which means that she, she'll fit in really well PvP wise is my guess. But for me at least... It doesn't necessarily match up with how I feel um, rogues uh, should be. And then with the marksmen and the mages, it's a little bit confusing to me. I won't say I dislike this character, but I will say the trailer for me is so good. It's screaming something else. So I, I, I like the character and I honestly... From my first impressions, I, I want to see this character do well. I think what I'm going to be doing more than anything, though, is comparing her to, like, Sylvina and, of course, Aaron and seeing how those go. I think it's really interesting to see a Wilder who isn't just, like, cheery or happy. I mean, really, we have Bryon, uh, Aaron, and, and Hewan, really just Hewan, to be honest, who are kind of more of the melancholy type characters. So with this being a wilder character, I think it will be interesting to see how she fits into it, but also to see that factions don't just, they're not just a stereotype of like light bearer is all just 
truth and justice. Or maybe Wilder isn't just all happy, cheery. It's also the dark part of the woods, how like the forest can be dark and scary. So I, I like that duality and kind of expanding what the factions can mean. Um, and I think that'll be interesting going forward if they continue to do it, because a lot of the characters we've been getting, this included, uh, her moveset is very hybrid. It has defensive capabilities, it has PvP capabilities, it has uh, AFK stages capabilities. A lot of these characters are hybrids by nature, but I think what's really interesting is that this character isn't one dimensional um like some of the other characters we've received so i think that this will either be not necessarily the meta breaking character but it'll be the character to break the traditional characters that we've received so i think that's cool uh how do you think about like what do you think about the character what's your overall opinion of it so far uh from what you've seen i hope to do some comparisons of this um and things like uh an arcing labyrinth and stages to see how it goes my personal thought is uh, characters like rowan and hewan for buffers and then um having uh the rogues like three rogues i want to see like massive rogue teams that just have insane damage and uh also with her like different defensive capabilities as well so ultimately i'll say whoever created this thinks pigeons are creepy like the, <laughs> like uh, the big eyes and <laughs> killing the pigeon at the end or at the beginning so uh so i hope you guys like the reaction uh of course watch the trailer if you want the uninterrupted version of, of that but uh i hope you guys end up enjoying the character i'm probably going to be pulling at least for one of these to see how it goes um and as per always guys may fortune favor your journey and i'll catch you in the next one peace